Hey, welcome to the third episode of Stories Through the Camera. My name's Chris Butel, and in this episode, we're gonna be hanging out with filmmaker and photographer, Troy Baird. Today, we're shooting on a Context G2 camera with Fujifilm Pro 400 film stock. I really love Troy's work. Every single one of his photos evoke a sense of mood and place, and I think that's a testament to his skill as a filmmaker. He's not only interested in creating aesthetically pleasing images, but really telling a story through the frames that he creates. That's a style that I'm really wanting to develop with my photography, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to hang out with Troy and take some photos. I'm with my mate Troy. We're going to uh, shoot in his apartment uh, for the start of this video with Troy's mate Joey. He's an actor and we're going to chase him around with the camera all day. I'm really excited because we're actually going to be shooting on Fujifilm Pro 400 film stock, which I haven't shot on before, but uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, for sure. I love the Fujifilm stuff. It has these really nice secondary colors, like the magentas and the cyans are really soft. And then this super, super nice um, green undertone in the shadows, which I just find really pleasing. I'm gonna be using my Contax G2 today with a 28 millimeter lens and um, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I like that combo. Today I'm shooting with an on-camera flash, um, which is something pretty new uh, in my photography. I think when I started shooting on film, one of the things I really liked about it was just the organic nature and just the natural aesthetic that comes with it. So introducing something um, like a flash, scene, like which is so artificial, I, I thought I wouldn't be into it, but of late, um, yeah, I've been using it and it's creating some super dynamic and really interesting frames. So yeah, having lots of fun with it. One thing I like to do when I'm shooting with models and actors is play music on set. It creates a nice tone uh, and they feel comfortable to bring themselves to the shoot and then there's two creative minds working for the same thing. And at that point we can sort of start shaping the light, finding some interesting compositions and um, yeah I find that's where I do my best creative work. One of the things that I've been recently trying to do a lot more with my photography is shoot on wider angle lenses. I find with a telephoto lens you can just stand further away and pick off shots, but forcing yourself to shoot on a 28 or a 35 mil means that you have to get close, up close and personal with your subject and that exchange of energy can create for some really interesting moments and, and better photos. I couldn't agree more. And I think the with those focal lengths, uh, like 28 millimeter, for example, that I use, it feels like a familiar angle of view to the human eye. It's almost like what we see. So I think when people see the pictures, it's almost like something they've seen before and they can relate to it.
As you can see, the sun is getting pretty low in the sky, but I'm really glad we had that flash, dude. Hopefully some of those shots turn out well. Yeah, yeah, super happy with everything today as well. Heaps of fun hanging out with you guys. So just keen to uh, see how it all turns out. Yeah, thanks so much, dude. Thanks so much for watching the third episode of Stories Through the Camera. If you want to check out more of Troy's work, and I highly recommend that you do, his website and Instagram are linked in the video description. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so that new episodes appear in your feed as soon as they're released. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next one.